Welcome back guys. Happy New Year to all. We are in a new year. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host Sleepy Celestial. Now we're going to be covered the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Arc Core 1. This time we're doing episode 8, 9, and 10. The first episode we're going to be covering is episode 8 which is titled The Shooting Star Project. Um, like I said, where we left off is Ichigo was beaten badly from what happened to him versus in Yuhabak and Yuhabak henchmen literally came out of nowhere and attacked Ichigo and breaking his sword. So I don't even know what's going on, what has happened. Is Ichigo is going to be able to recover from that? We also got a lot of revelation that um, Ichigo is literally a Quincy Shimigami a full brain and a hollow like Ichigo has four different power abilities and at the end of the fight between Yuhabak, Yuhabak was planning on stabbing Ichigo in the neck until he activated Blue Vena, which is a Quincy ability so right after he did that Yuhabak was like yeah there's no mistaking it you do have Blue Vena." from absorbing a bit of a uh, cool gate op's technique uh his ability called the jail which actually puts you in a bind like in a cage and that ichigo from stress of energy and trying to help out his friends and family he was able to literally activate the um the blue vena from absorbing cool gates op's technique now that's a big deal because now we're getting full revelation that what Aizen was saying that Ichigo's parents or can can they be his parents because it seems like Ichigo is coming from like a royalty background where he has so many different abilities and that I don't think we fully understand who Ichigo is as a character yet until we start getting more revelation of what to come. So until then, I'm not going to hinder any longer. This is episode 8, which is titled The Shooting uh, Star Project. And we're going to watch it right now. And let's see what it's about. We knew that when the head captain gave us those orders, they would be the last that he would ever give. Okay, guys. Here it is. Yeah. Still sad to me. That's so sad. And you know, it's always sad to me um, that when someone changed for the better, right before their life is about to die, like end, is when they trying to get better, and life just strips that away. And I felt like Kata Yamamoto did a lot of good, even though his past wasn't perfect. He tried his best to incorporate the modern times where he allowed Ichigo's friends to come, come in and go. He even allowed the visors, some of them, to come back into their captain position. So he was trying to change for the better. But I think sometimes changing who you are could sometimes hinder you from protecting what you love. You know, he was a pillar in the soul society. And it's saddened to see him die this way out of rage and trying to defend his territory as a leader. And look what look where it got him. And I think that's a very powerful scene to see him still standing, trying to defend his post. Even though this was his last duty. It's like Udahana just mentioned, like, I think he knew coming into this battle that I'm going to either die or something severe is going to happen. So he told the medical corps to not intervene. So this is sad. This is very sad. So you can see like people are taking like Ichiko. all of those things. They're no longer in critical condition. They're stable now. Just call me if you need anything. Intrusion, sir. Captain Kurotsuchi wants to see you regarding your Zanpakuto. The head captain's body. And that's yeah, another thing. Now that his bunkai, Captain Yamamoto's bunkai, is broken, 
Yuha Bak has his abilities of the um, Zunkai no Tachi is with Yuha Bak, but the sword itself is like extinguished. Like, are they gonna take that sword and put it somewhere? I'm I'm very confused about that as well. Found. Our only job is to protect the Soul Society. Why can't you? What do you do when your Zanpakuto gets broken? Are you really telling me you can't fix your own? When because once destroyed, a Bankai can never, in fact, be restored. I'm sorry. Wow. The Great Squad Zero is only. Oh shit. I've been wanting to see them so bad. I've been wanting to see them. Mind you, the last time we got, I guess, a hint of them, that was 300 or 400 chapters ago, which was during the um, Penjamin art episode, which gave us some backstory of like the Hogyoku, which captain has been captain for the longest. And then they said that the great captain Hikifune left and joined squad zero i guess she got promoted and hirori one of the visors she got very upset at that due to the fact that you know that was one of her favorite um teachers and captains and then captain uda udahara joined to be squad um 12 of captain it's way what there's only five it's a squad of captains only. Dean Corp guard squads. Hell yeah, that's right. We're here. Drink <laughs> they be. Oh, what the hell was that for? It's been a while. I don't even know you. Wait, Miss Curio? Whoa, you've you've changed. <laughs> so I just want to say this. There's a lot of things Shun Shui mentioned. He said that long ago or before they invaded the soul society like the very first episode of bleach that the gates that surround soul society was always remained to be up like where it should be which means that those walls should be in the air where the i guess the soul palace is and that it should never remain like underground and ever since what happened the walls have been down. That's insane. So this is Ichigo Kurosaki, huh? As I was saying, hey. are <laughs> shut up. Ooh. Yo, he just hold her like a damn toothpick, like. And from what they just mentioned, they said that these five people are stronger than all the previous. I think I, from what they're saying, all the captains. All the different iterations of the captains that we've seen in the in the past, they're even stronger than them, and they're stronger than Captain Yamamoto himself. That's insane. But it goes to say too, like where were they? And I think um, Zoe Fong had a good point. She said, like, you guys basically watch us get our ass kicked, and suddenly now y'all y'all gonna tell us what to do now that you guys are down here. And one of the squad, royal squad, just disappeared and vanished and appeared behind her. Oh, yeah. I know our jobs to protect the royal palace. I always yeah. thought your job was to protect the Seireite. What kind of... Yo, I, out of all of them so far, my favorite, my favorite captain of the squad, royal squad so far is, um, what's her name? Um... I think her name is Senjumaru, if I'm not mistaken, right? That's crazy. And the guy that um that just got hit by the bigger, I guess he looks like he's the the main one of the main quarter. I wonder if there's more more of people that works with them, but he trained. From what I'm hearing, it seems like he trained Unahana. And mind you, Unahana from the flashback. She was basically known as one of the oldest captains. And the fact that it, it's going to hit me now, how old are these five people if they're older than all of them? The only person that we know that's recently added was Miss Hikifune with the purple hair. And 
It's crazy. That means the only one remaining is you. <laughs> Ichigo Kurosaki. But we'll be taking you for an entirely different reason. With you. Will I be able to fix my tenses on Getsu? No. However, if you were to come to the royal palace, we could reforge it into something resembling your original sword. That's creepy. Like, so they could reforge things and send it down to the Soul Society. That's crazy. We're here. This is the place Aizen so desperately wanted to come to. Yeah, remember guys, Aizen desperately wanted to come to the Soul Society and invade it. And at the same time, go to the Soul Palace. So it means that if Aizen would have succeeded, he would have had to meet with these people. And yeah, Aizen was strong, but if they saying that these people are stronger than all the captains in history, Aizen would have had to put up a fight that would have had to last I don't know how long. And depending on the amount of pressure that he would be under, I think the Hyogoku would have like evolved even further. Depending on that. But know this, Ichigo Kurosaki. The Quincy's you are now facing are an even greater and more terrible evil. Wow. <sighs> what the hell is this? What's it? Mean? So we're gonna take Byakuya here. Who's all drained so out. So he's the healer of the group. Toss him in there! Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna kill the guy! Would you please? One night should do it. That's all it'll take to make you twice as So good basically, as he, um, what's his name, got inspired by him for creating the hot spring, the healing hot spring. So it seems like these people are like the, or, uh, um, um, well, how do they name those things? Um, pioneers. They're like the ones that pioneered certain things about the soul society. Him, he pioneered like healing and key, I guess, healing ketos and stuff like that. So the fact that he's a greater healer than Unahana, that's insane. And he even told Unahana, like, this is not your job at this moment to heal. So I'm guessing Unahana have a bigger responsibility. Or we might see her take the reign as squad one captain because she was the second strongest, if I'm not mistaken, the second strongest captain besides captain yamamoto it wouldn't make sense because she's one of the oldest ones so seniority pass on to the next seniority i think that would have been make sense but we'll we'll see Would you please? one night should do it that's all it'll take to make you twice as good as new ah so you're awake whoa the sulking eyes like it's 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 interesting he looks like a bug like his eyes they look like praying mantis or like a bug bug type of eyes and remember eisen was trying to kill eisen was trying to definitely like destroy the soul king himself in order for him to be the new god he's basically like the god of the bleach universe equivalent or if he is he is but it seems like he's like stuck so guys we're gonna stop it here this was episode 8 which is titled the shooting star project so after all the chaos and everything we seen that squad zero which is also the royal guard came down out of the request of the soul king to basically patch up the soul society back again and the same time these guys are so nonchalant but then again we know in certain animes that the people that are more relaxed or tend to be the most powerful and from what they're saying they're the most powerful squad in history so i'm guessing all the iterations of captains we've seen that interchange in the past or now they're stronger than all of them. And my questions I started asking, were they part of the original squad of Captain Yamamoto, which was 
counted as the strongest era of the squads or are they above them and how old are they like that's even more insane too so guys this was an amazing episode yet again i think the thousand year blood war arc is opening up more possibilities for future um things for the core and i can't wait to jump into the future of the thousand year blood war or core and to to give a more depth after this whole cover before we jump into core two i'm gonna give a probably a 50 minute of things that i think they could add to make the story even better and more interesting but this episode was insane we have a lot of revelations um like I said, I started asking where were these captains and how come they never aid like the, um, the, I think from what they said, once you become part of squad zero, it's like you have a disconnect with like reality and everything like your job, your sole purpose job is to uh, protect the soul king and protect the king from all sorts of like damage and from what we also heard is there in order to enter the the royal palace you need to have one of the squad zeros with you or you need to form something called an oaken which that's what Eisen was trying to create out of souls but from what we know the oaken is the bones of the one of of the royal guards like in order for you to even go anywhere inside the palace you need one of the squad zeros or they will have to allow you to get in so that's pretty top um, security to me. But guys, thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in episode 9, which is titled The Drop. And then I'll see you guys for the rest of the other episode. Like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.